Hey, Dave Johnson here, editor of eHow Tech on the floor of the Consumer Electronics Show 2013, looking for cool tech. And a lot of the stuff I've shown you today might not be like super practical, but I think I found something which is absolutely practical. How many times have you like, you know, spilled water on your phone or dropped it in the sink or the toilet? I think we found a solution to that sort of thing. So what do we have here? Uh, basically what we have is Liquipel. Liquipel is a liquid repellent nanotechnology, so what we're able to do is take your device, put it through our specialized process, uh, it goes into a machine that pumps down, creates a vacuum, injects a liquid repellent formulation that's able to travel all throughout the device. So just to kind of give you an idea here, uh, this is a, just a tissue that we've treated with the Liquipel technology. As you can see, it looks, feels just like a regular tissue would. As we introduce water into this, you can see suddenly it doesn't react like a regular tissue would. So the same type of technology going on here is actually going on inside of this device. Uh, this is a new iPhone 5 that's been treated with the liquid file process. As you can see, fully functional. All the ports, everything's still open. Um, and then if you have an accident, please, by all means, have an accident. Okay. Throw it in. Um, I can't wait to do this. Oh. So touch screens don't work underwater. It's a capacitive technology, but uh, mechanical buttons still will. So uh, how long can we leave it underwater? Well, the idea, it's a preventative coating, so it's not something that we want you to take swimming or you know out into the ocean or anything like that. But we've covered about 90% of the scenarios under which water damage takes place. So, so, so you're saying I can't take like take pictures with it on a safety stop scuba diving? Yes, no, that's not the idea behind the product. The idea behind the product is to basically prevent you from all those accidental exposure to water that would usually water damage the device. So, uh, spills, splashes, puddles, pools, sinks, those types of things. You've got to take a quick call in the shower. Those are all things that you can do in liquid power. And so, um, obviously, the screen's protected, that sort of thing. But yes. the, the ports, like the uh, the USB and the headphone jack, uh, those are protected as well? Yes. Yeah, that's what's so special about our process is we're actually able to draw that liquid repellent formulation through the entire device. So if uh, someone wanted to actually treat their phone uh, with something like this, uh, with liquid repel, could they do it today and how much does it cost? Yes, yes. So we are open for melons. You can send us out your product at uh, liquipel.com, we charge us L-I-Q-U-I-P-E-L.com, we charge $60 for the consumer treatment. And then this year we've also announced our Liquipod, which is our new retail friendly machine, uh, 4x4x4 unit, handles about 20 to 40 units at a time and you'll start to see them deployed in retail locations so people can actually go down, drop their device off, and have them treated right on the spot. Can you also do this to uh, iPads and larger tablets? Absolutely. Yeah, there's all types of devices. We just we keep it pretty narrow. We're trying to stay towards the high side of the market and the most desirable devices because there's a lot of qualification that goes through before we put a device on our approved list. Uh, but certainly the application, I mean, it's, it's endless what we can apply liquid belt to. So, uh, does, does this work with uh, any other uh, liquids like, uh, you know, ketchup, mustard, that sort of thing? Yes, yeah, it works with all types of liquids and with our latest and greatest Liquipel 2.0, the new formulation was designed around saltwater environments and actually has proven to be up to 100 times as, uh, more effective than the original coating against electrolysis in those saltwater uh, environments. Okay, great, thanks. So. Um, there's, there's the phone that's just been in the water and uh, it still, still seems to work fine. So my advice to you from the floor of CES is until you coat yours with Liquipel, don't do that. <laughs>